Hi guys, I'm Angela Wilson, entertainment editor here with the beautiful Kiana. So I'm just gonna jump right into this. <laughs> so we have something in common. We're both from Cleveland, Ohio. Come on now. Yes. Now listen, let me tell you this. I am originally from Cleveland, Ohio, but oh. I've been in Georgia for so long. I've been in Georgia since I was nine. Okay. So I tell the people all the time, I am a peach. Okay. okay. I don't know nothing about Cleveland outside okay. of, you know, good barbecue. You know, <laughs> you know how they hot sauce Williams. Yes. I yes. go back home when people get married or buried. So I know it's a horrible mm. thing, but that's my truth. But you know, okay. I call Atlanta, Georgia home. Okay. But, but hey, still, Cleveland? you were born. What's up, Buckeye? And so was I. Yes, so we got that in common. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. yes, I am. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, so what's up with them calves, though? Girl, what? LeBron can't do it by himself. He, cannot. he needs some help. He but you know what? Bless that baby. He played like the little train. Like when I say he did that thing, like the little train that could, he tried. Y'all got to get the man some help, though. I thought we did. I, well, obviously. Obviously not. He cannot carry the whole city or the team on his right, back. Forever. So, Le LeBron, we are with you. You hear me? We are with you, but yes. we can't be there on the court with you, so we need to make we sure we get some in, people. In spirit, in spirit. And in truth. Okay. Okay, but do what you got to do. Absolutely. <laughs> so, give us some background information on you for those who aren't familiar with you. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people who are not familiar with me. I'm, my name is Kiana Dancy. As you know, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm an actress. I'm an author. I'm one of those um, people like, I never Never heard of her, but but was she the girl from Who's Got Jokes? Yes, okay. I'm the girl from Who's Got Jokes. I did Who's Got Jokes about, ooh, I think it was 2009 or actually 2008. I did Who's Got Jokes okay. in 2008 on TV One. Okay. Um, I started off in stand up. I actually started my my real life. I went, I'm a Georgia Southern University graduate, mm -hmm. and I, w I went to work for Sony. From Sony, I went to work for Samsung. When I got laid off from Samsung, girl. It was a laughing matter, okay? okay? So I was already doing stand-up, and I decided to not go back into corporate America, and I just mm -hmm. went to do stand-up. And that's where I got my start, girl. I got my start stand-up com comedy, and I moved to L.A., and L.A. didn't, LA didn't stick for me. And I, every mm -hmm. time I tried to move to L.A., I ended up back in Atlanta. So okay. um, I am a stand-up comedian. I've been on tour with Earthquake, been on tour with um, – I did some shows with Cat Williams, been out with um, Just Hilarious, uh, Country Wayne, you know, those nice. – those, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing, yeah. So I love what you said that you didn't go back to corporate America, no. that you followed your dream. Yes. And look at you now. Look at me now. You know, it was always in the mix of me. I've always been in the entertainment business somehow. As a mm -hmm. child, I modeled. Um, I was a catalog girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was a catalog girl. Girl, I, uh, girl, probably. And look, and I was in the, um, in the windows, you know, freeze modeling, all those dumb things. But I did that. I also was uh, um, in different plays and such. And, you know, as your mama, I always want to make you be ballerina mm -hmm. or a tap dancer. Mm -hmm. So I did all those things, but corporate America was not for me. Um, I managed a very large team. I love what I did, but it was not in my heart to be in corporate America, gotcha. girl. I'm, I'm, in, I'm made to break all the rules. You know, I like to cuss mm -hmm. at night sometimes. I like to laugh loud. I like to have an opinion. People don't like all that in corporate America. <laughs> Tone it down. Yes, yes. So I decided that, um, you know, corporate America didn't want me, and I didn't want it, so I moved forward. Yes. I love it. So what advice would you give to someone who's scared to follow their dreams, but they need that corporate American money, though? Well, you know what? That is actually a great point because I did the same thing. I started doing open mics, and then I was working in the daytime, and it was crazy because my boss actually called me and was just like, uh, when I did Who's Got Jokes, mm -hmm. he called me. He was like, um, so... It looks like you did a show on Who's Got Jokes on TV One. I was like, that is not me. <laughs> he was like, ma'am, this is you. And he was right, it was me. So I would say if you have to play both sides of the fence, which sometimes we have to, um, don't run from that. Own that space and do be try to be the best that you can in that particular situation and at that time. Because you got to pay your bills. You know, It's nothing like a starving artist, honey. Being hungry and cute is not the thing. So I... Is not. <laughs> so I would say, um, you know, do what you can. Stay on your corporate job. Stay, keep your head down. Save your checks. Try to save mm -hmm. some money so that when you jump, you'll have a little nest egg. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, but if you can't and if it's not a place for you and you feel like you absolutely cannot do it, girl, you can drop an Uber. You know what I mean? You can, you can hustle up some money. You can deliver pizzas. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at none of that. 
But because when I left my job, baby, they sent me with a package. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so I had me a good old employ- nice. unemployment package. I had some um, some shares. I did real good for myself. But everybody mm-hmm. don't have that ability right. or that luxury. So yeah. my advice would be to save your money. Stop mm-hmm. spending money on things that you don't need. And then put aside some money so that when you do jump and go out into the world. Because yes. it gets cold out there. Yes. It is real cold. Yes. So, um, you know, have a little nest egg. And then, you know, sometimes you just have to not eat out. You can't go out with right. your girlfriends. You have to do some things to plan for your future so that yes. you can secure the things that you're trying to do, which is chase your dream. Absolutely. It's all about self-control. Yes, self-control. And then, you know, we can make money, girl. You can, I don't know, bake a cake, um, some mm-hmm. cookies, babysit, um, do something. It, it's, <laughs> girl, listen. You got to. Yes, you can. Yes. I, I've been told you're sitting on a million dollars. You should never be broke. Ooh. A message. A message. There's a lot of things that you can do. You know what I'm saying? You can go to work and do a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Work part time for a friend. There's a lot of things you can do as a young entrepreneur. Work from home, do something. Yes. And it'll all pay off too. If you really want it. That's what you got. You have to really want it. (laughs) Right. Because it's hard out here. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. What's a quote that you live by? Oh, wow. Well, there's actually two quotes. There's one, you may not be meant for it, but you're built for it. And what that means to, to, to me and for anybody that's listening, I hope you would take it this way. At the end of the day, you may not necessarily be meant to go through your struggles, but you're built for it. You know, we're fortified. You know, we have been through so many things, honey. Black folks, women, we have been through so many things. And it looked like, Lord, did you mean for me to go right. through this? And he's going to say, you know what? No, but I built you for it. So no matter what you encounter, you'll be all right. Yeah. Oh, I love that. All right. The other quote I live by is, own your flaws so that you can write your laws. Own your flaws mm. so that you can write your laws. And that means that if you, listen, I have a gap in my teeth. You you know, folk good for telling me her gap, her gap. Child, you think I don't wake up every day and see this gap in my teeth? I know it's there. I had options. My mother spent $7,000 on my brother's teeth, right? Mm-hmm. And she asked me, did I want to close my gap? And my, my, my answer was absolutely not. And the reason I didn't want to close my gap is because, first of all, my mother has a gap. My grandfather ha- has a gap. Okay. In my family, if you don't have a gap, we don't believe that you are a mm-hmm. dancy. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, if I didn't love my gap, yeah, maybe I would consider to close it. But I love who I am. When I look in the mirror, honey, I love my eyes, my big old lips, my big gap. I love it. Now, just because it bothers you, well, that close your eyes. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> I can't believe somebody doesn't. But, you know, but, but people don't. You know, they have a preference. With it. You know, they people want people to look normal yeah. or regular or to fit in. So my point of saying that is if you don't own your flaws, to, you, you have to own them. So then mm-hmm. at the end of the day, anything that I want or anything that I want to do, I own my flaws. I write my own laws. So, for example, yes. if you have, I don't know, if your eye don't open up well or if your lips ain't right, fix it if you don't love it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Your butt too flat, fix it if you don't mm-hmm. love it. But go to the right people to get it fixed. Right. But, hello? Right, do some research. But I'm going to say, own who you are. Love your flaws. And if you absolutely do not, fix it. And then make sure if whatever you're fixing, you're not doing it for somebody else's else's acceptance. You're doing it because you don't like it or love it. Mm -hmm. For yourself. For yourself. Nobody else. else. Because nobody else matters. Say that one more time. Nobody else matters. (laughs) One more question for you. What brings you the most satisfaction? Oh, my gosh. You know what brings the most satisfaction to me is sitting on the panel every day and making a change. You know, I cannot Mm -hmm. tell you that I necessarily saw this for myself. I didn't necessarily Mm -hmm. not see it for myself. Um, You know, as a stand-up comedian, I am um, in a solo sport. You know, stand-up comedians, it's you and the mic and the stage and the audience is watching. Whatever it is you bring, whether it's funny or not, they're watching you. Mm -hmm. So I didn't necessarily see myself in a panel, but I love it. I love being able to feed off my sister. I love, yes. you know, being able to be an impact to the people who are watching our show. Every day we make a, t- we make a change and mm-hmm. we make a difference, you know. Yes. So it's very rewarding to know that people are watching us and are getting um, filled. They, like getting full off of yes. what we talk about. We talk about very, very heavy topics. Like yesterday was a heavy topic. Mm-hmm. But today we had an, an amazing, so uplifting, fun. you know, bright, fun show. Okay. So for me, I will say... Um, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't necessarily know what was in the, the works for me or what was my plan. And mm-hmm. as they always say, make some plans and watch God change them. Yeah. Um, so for me, I, I'm just excited to be here. I cannot wait to see what the future bring. I love Sister Circle. I love my sisters. And I am just blessed to be in this space. Amen. And you guys are 
since this got renewed. Girl, did <laughs> Look at God. Look at God. <laughs> um, I did. We did. Oh, look, I, I'm supposed to stop saying um, but I did. Um, I did not tell anybody. So, yes, we did just get um, renewed, and I'm super excited mm -hmm. about that. And I'm also, I have so many things coming out. I have a book coming out called Bye Bye Bags, Laughing to Lighten the Load. I mean, here is a great, Sister Circle has offered us an amazing platform mm -hmm. for all of us as an individual to do our own things, but more importantly, mm -hmm. as a group. Right. So, we're doing amazing things. So, the fact that they, um, actually renewed us. I mean, not that we didn't think that we were mm -hmm. going to get renewed, but it's yes. a blessing that we did. Right. Yes. Of course. So we so, don't want to assume anything, but look at God. Look at God. He did it. Yes, he did. Yes. I mean, like I said, I, I took this time to, um, you know, get to really, you're learning so much about my, ourselves and we're learning so much mm -hmm. about our, our, our viewers and our sisters. Um, like I said, I have a book coming out. It's called Bye Bye, Bye Bye Bags, Laughing to Lighten the Load. I'm currently on tour um, called mm -hmm. Single in the City to a Girl. Ooh. Tell me about that. Girl, the City in the City tour is Kiana Dancy. Everywhere she go right now, she is single. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. um, you, you know, we address on stage when I'm talking, I'm speaking about who I am as a person, who I am as a woman. Um, mm -hmm. I am single. I've been through some things, as we all have. And mm -hmm. I think that when people come to my show, they can either relate or be like, you know what? I would never have thought about it like that. So, yeah. um, ideally, when you come to my show, I want you to walk away enlightened. I want you to walk away with your stomach hurting because I want you to laugh so hard that you feel like you went to work out. You hear me? Nice. Um, my next date is in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, I'm going to be there June 22nd through the 24th at okay. the Comedy House. So I'm super excited about that. I'm going to be all over the world, honey. The people yes. come see you. They can come check me out. So Are you coming to Chicago? Well, that is what the plan is, okay. girl. So they just got to okay. keep checking out my website okay. and, and my Instagram and my social media. <laughs> Listen, I am the same thing, literally, all things social media wise, all things social at Kiana Dancy. That's K I A N A D A N. C I E. <laughs> you got that? You got that? <laughs> Kiana Dancy. And my website is kianadancy.com. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So we can keep up with you when you're coming to our city and your book when that comes out. Yes. And you know, let me tell you something. Shot Town got good food, beautiful men, lots of great shopping. But I got to get up there before it get cold. I'm not yeah. Doing that. I'm not yeah. For that. The cold is serious. Y'all cold it makes it change your personality. It you will. you get out there, you get the cussing, you get out there in that cold, you get an attitude. <laughs> Y'all cold is a different type of cold. It's aggressive. Just, just get a nice coat. A yes. Nice down coat that go to your ankles. Is that what you say? Uh huh. No, I'll stay in the south with a little jacket. It'll be all right. Every now, we, every now and then, we do need a coat. I won't lie to you, but it's not Chicago no, coat. No, it's not. But it's not. You can come visit us now, and you'll love it. Yes, in the summer. Yes, ma'am. Everybody <laughs> keeps telling me about that. I yes. need to get up there in the summer. Now. I just, mm -hmm. I was there a couple months ago with, um, uh, oh my God. I forgot the baby name. Uh oh. Oh well. It's all right. You was there. I was there. We uh -huh. did a comedy show with this man. Okay. And he actually is on his last comedy tour. How come I can't? I can see his face. Hmm. Mm. You go think of it. As Are you gonna edit this? Done. Yep. <laughs> so we're wrapping here with Kiana. I had this was so Kiana dope. Dancy. Kiana Dancy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kiana Dancy. Get yes. the whole name straight. She's coming to your town soon. She, her book is gonna be coming out soon. Yes, it's gonna be out by the fall. It's okay. called Bye Bye Bags: Laughing to Lighten the Load. And it talks about how I use laughter to heal myself whole. Cause we all been broken in some places. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to decide if you're gonna stay broken or you're gonna put yourself back together and live. And within, girl, you got to live. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Just exist. Live. You heard and get that? Over not that just heartbreak, exist. that heartbreak, sadness, that depression. Sad, right. Child molestation, <sighs> loss of jobs, heartbreak, loss of best friends. You won't have a car. Well, whatever your issue is, mm -hmm. zits in your face. Whatever is going on with you, girl, laugh about it, and it becomes easier to deal with. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. This is a <laughs> word. <laughs> this is a word yeah. right here. I ain't got nothing else to say. <laughs> No, we're going to keep that part. Keep that part. <laughs> we're out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. <laughs>